F1 in schools race cars are assessed in two different ways, specification judging and scrutineering judging. At the World Finals, teams must submit two identical race cars. Specification judging checks the cars against the World Finals technical regulations. The regulations are split into three areas, general, safety and performance. General regulations cover specific required features for the cars, such as minimum and maximum length, maximum overall width and height, and the number of wheels. Safety regulations make sure that the cars are safe to take part in racing. Failing one of these could mean the scrutineers ruling a car unable to race. Performance regulations ensure that no team gets an unfair advantage and include minimum weight, wheel design and wing dimensions. The cars are thoroughly checked by the eagle-eyed judges using gauges, jigs and precision measurement tools. Teams start with 100 points and have penalties deducted based on how well both cars comply with the technical regulations. As the dimensions are measured to the nearest point one of a millimetre, teams must be very careful when designing and manufacturing their cars as a small error could be the difference between a perfect score or a big points loss before the car is even raced. The points are also very important for one of the most coveted awards, the best engineered car. Just as in the real world of Formula 1, teams try to find and exploit loopholes in the technical regulations. Teams have a review session with the judges on Zoom to explain their compliance, but in the end, every car must satisfy the judges before it can race. Scrutineering judging looks at the engineering drawings, renderings and the quality of finish and assembly of the cars. There are 60 points available for scrutineering judging. The engineering drawings should show car details and regulation compliance. The renderings are a chance for the teams to show off their CAD skills by placing the car in a photorealistic environment and making sure their branding matches the finished race cars. When assessing the quality of manufacture and assembly, the judges are looking for a showcase quality finish with exceptional attention to detail over two cars which must be identical. Just like in the real world of Formula 1, eliminating even the slightest blemish is essential for teams to reach the finish line first.